This is the rail yard, a five acre public jump park here in Rogers, Arkansas. And today we're gonna ride everything here. Whoa. Oh man. But first, let me give you a tour and show you what the rail yard actually is. So as I stated, the rail yard is free to the public. It's like a mountain bike skate park. There are jumps, berms, whale tails, wall rides, and everything in between. And it has changed a bit since I first visited in 2016. After you rebuilt it, yep. 40,000 people in one month. Yep. First of all, when it was originally built, it was made of dirt. They got sick of maintaining it and closing in the rain. And so they paved the place. Now they have a drainage system built to withstand a 100 year flood. They even have lights here. It's open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. They even lit up the inside of the train car over there. And whatever skill level you are, you can ride the rail yard, even if you're a two-year-old on a balance bike and then it progresses up from there. Let's start with this novice course over here. So unlike these other big lines here at the rail yard, this area is kind of enclosed. It's perfect for someone like my daughter, who's two and a half and rides a balance bike. You can just push over these bridges, go underneath the tunnel. It's fun, it looks cool, it gets kids excited about riding, and the surface here is not asphalt, it's actually that rubberized stuff that you'll find on the surface of playgrounds. So it gives a little bit, it offers a little bit of impact protection, and it's really grippy and drains. Like some other parks, they rate novice lower than beginner. And so there's another novice line out there that goes all the way to the bottom. Let's go check it out. Whoa, <laughs> that went quick at the speeds we were going. <laughs> Anybody could ride what we just rode. The big berm and all that stuff, you don't have to be intimidated by, like no, not totally all. could ride it. And that's a novice line, so there's actually a step up from there as beginner. That is the funnest beginner anything I've ever ridden in my entire life. <laughs> so one of the changes they said they made to that is they put the train car back on the beginner line because it's fun. Beginners want to ride through the train car. And they want to go through the rail car because- Everybody wants to yeah. go through the rail car because it's a cool <laughs> feature to have here. For those of you in the audience who don't know who Annika is, Give like a rundown of your credentials. Well, I started riding bikes when I was three years old. Did my first BMX race when I was four. Raced BMX until I was about 17 years old. Then I got hooked on mountain biking and I absolutely loved it. I raced downhill world cups, dual slalom, I won the world championships three times in four cross, did the Enduro World Series, got third overall, won the queen of crankworks. Almost two years ago, I moved to Bentonville and I absolutely love it. Full-time coaching now here, just, you know, sharing the love for bicycles. And on Annika's YouTube channel, she does really concise ride-throughs of trails in Bentonville. And so if you're coming here, pretty good place to go for research. So I'm a little intimidated by the intermediate line just because the green line was so fun. Yeah, the beginner line was pretty spicy already. Yeah, let's see what intermediate is all about. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's so fast.
Oh man! <laughs> oh man, that's so fast. So that was a lot bigger and higher energy, but honestly, I didn't feel at risk. No high risk, and I think on this, everything is kind of step ups. So even if you case it, it's not too bad, you know, not much can happen. You can challenge yourself on this one for sure. So we're about to jump into the expert line, and by now you're probably wondering, how did Rogers get something like this? How would your city get something like this? The story's kind of interesting. Progressive Trail Design was building trails out in the woods, and the city asked them, what do we do with this big open lot now? And they said, you should build a jump park there. Now, it existed for some time, and everybody loved it so much, they wanted to be able to ride it in any weather. And so that's when Velo Solutions came back and paved the place. Just drains extremely well. It rained this morning and we're about to ride the expert line. Now the funding came partially from the city and also a grant from the Walton Family Foundation. That's Tom and Stuart. They fund a lot of projects in the area. Rogers is right next to Bentonville and so they see it working right around the corner. They're all for doing things like this. How do you get stuff like this built? Well, it takes a lot of legwork for people like you and I to convince our city, but I hope videos like these make it look a little bit more personal and accessible. Anybody can ride these trails and they can work their way up very safely. So people come here with skateboards? Oh yeah, uh, some of the better skateboards, better scooter riders, you can see them jumping stuff out here most days. And there's no rules against that? Nope, not anymore, now that it's all paved. The expert line, I don't consider myself an expert, but uh, let's... It's like everything else, it's so well built and you'll feel it, just go with the flow. Cool. Yeah. All right, then let's do it. <laughs> That was sweet. So fun. Phew. That is so smooth. I survived every line. I know. And once you start hitting it perfect, it feels so good. Yeah, it does. It just works. So to somebody who's first getting into this, that whale tail probably looks pretty intimidating. Yes, it is. It was really intimidating for me when I came here for the first time. First time here, I did not ride the expert line. Once you hit it, it's actually really good. It's not that bad at all. So full disclosure, what I like about this is I'm not a biker at all. My husband mountain bikes in Columbus, Ohio. My daughter has started mountain biking with him. I haven't really biked since I was a kid, but we were able to do some really cool stuff here. Did it look intimidating? Uh, just a tiny bit, just because I'm not super comfortable on my bike anyway, but I did it and it yeah. was fun. That is what a public jump park is all about. This is a place for anybody in the community, anybody with any kind of bicycle to come and have fun. You could be an adult who hasn't ridden your bike since you were 12 and you can start out on a novice line and work your way up and progress safely. Thanks for showing me through those lines because uh, a toe-in is a lot less scary on something like that expert line. Glad it helped and thanks for having me. I had a blast riding today. That was sweet. So fun. Phew. Hopefully we'll see you out here in Bentonville. We got so much to show you guys and it's an awesome place. And again, I'm gonna put info down below if you wanna check out just short overviews of trails in Bentonville. Annika does that with Anderson from Benton Drones and uh, it's really quick and really entertaining. <laughs>
So I like getting my exercise the fun way, that is to say, on a bicycle, and this shirt is the embodiment of that. Nothing against stationary bicycles, I use one sometimes, but this is all in good fun. Another thing I believe very strongly in is getting kids on bicycles, start them young. They're our future, and so they should be riding bikes. Both of these shirts and sweatshirts are available on CognitiveMTB.com, you can get them in the link below. They'll both make good holiday gifts and it helps support this channel. But don't get one to support me, get one because you deserve it. They're all screen printed right here in North Carolina and they're distributed only 5 minutes from my house and we have limited supply for the holidays. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the rail yard, this place is awesome. Thanks to Visit Bentonville for making this month-long trip possible, and thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time. Oh my God, it's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so fast. <laughs>